everybody and welcome back to This Woman Can. I am your host Janice Sutherland, career strategist for the black woman over 40. Now for my avid listeners and those who have just, you know, just cottoned on to me or started listening to me, you may have noticed that I've been a little absent um, for a while and for very good reason. My last, I think my last podcast or my last episode talked about putting yourself a number one priority and I really had that challenged over the past few weeks. And bear with me because this really does link into career change and you'll see why when I talk about it. When I decided to change careers a few years ago, I really did to have more time and freedom in life. As I've explained before, I was a very busy CEO, corporate CEO, and was really being pulled from pillar to post. But I never thought that that decision I, I made then would be the best decision I'd ever make when it came to my mother. Um, I'm not of the sandwich generation because my children are pretty grown, but my mother is, my mother is I suppose, relatively en- elderly. So I've had to take an extended leave of absence from my business to travel um, from the Caribbean to a very, very cold UK, my um, birthplace, my birthplace and take care of my mum for what I realise will probably be the last, um, most of the last, last time based on the prognosis we have been given. But I had to look at this and as much as it's been a very sad, challenging time, there have been some um, positives for me to take out of this that I want to share with you. Um, First of all, what I would say, because of that career change, it has really been a blessing for me to be able to take that time to care for her because, you know, it's been very precious time without feeling guilty about my job, being bothered about my job or being bothered by the job. Because, again, I was very busy and I knew I'd always get constant phone calls when I was in that that environment or even be worried about whether I would have a job. And as I said, it's a really unforeseen and most welcome benefit of creating that career on my terms. And obviously not what I considered when I was going through the career change process. Now, I've been learning a few things um, over the past couple of weeks as I've taken care to get care for her. Um, I've got past, I suppose, the instantaneous crying at times um, to one of acceptance and looking at how I make her time with us or our time together really special Um, and as I said there's few things I've learned from her as we've been together over the past couple of weeks and there's things like um, owning your own bad behavior because sometimes for her things get a little tough and she gets a little frustrated but she knows she's been wrong and she's quite happy to own up and apologize for how she's been And this next one was a real big one for me, especially for black women, because we have always been, we're always that strong person. We're always the one to take on the pain. We're always the one to bear the burden and shoulder the pain. But when it comes to that, you know, I want us to understand that we we don't need to be heroes. We don't need to take the pain. We've been very conditioned to believe that the things that hurt us are there to teach us lessons. So we quite often take on more pain to learn more instead of taking the actions required to alleviate the pain. And I see that in my mom. Sometimes she's very stoic and just handling the pain when I know she just needs to take that pain pain relief. Things I'd also, I'd also, I've also learned as well is that remembering that work is not your life. Um, my mother worked for a very long time, way past her, uh, way past her, what's what I'm looking for, you know, retirement, way past her retirement. And when she stopped working, I think one of the things that really didn't help her um, was the fact that she didn't really have any other any other outlets or interests outside of work and family. You know, she worked, she raised us, she raised six children pretty much single handedly. So she was very focused on making sure she had enough to feed, to feed her kid, to feed her kids. Um, I'd also, I'd also say some feedback I would give to anybody who's in this situation, facing this situation is ask your parents questions Ask them now in their prime because there's probably a lot you don't know about them, things that are interesting. You know, we just see them as our parents when actually they're really interesting individuals on their own. So take some time to ask those quest- ask those questions and take, take pleasure. Take pleasure in hugging 
and telling them telling those you love and you know and you know and you love them to, to you know just do that um so that's really you know where i have had my focus um the, quite rightly for the past few weeks and i want to let you know that i haven't stopped podcasting i am just taking a little a little a little i suppose a short break a little a little break or just working in between because i am finding that balance right now as i'm here um to try and balance a little work um with the support of my siblings, um, finding that balance between working remotely, self-care and creating creating those lasting memories with my mom. So I would say how I see it is my life is on a temporary pause while I enrich the life of someone who's incredibly, incredibly important to me. Those of you who've heard my book, This Woman Can, will know that this book, the book was dedicated um, to her, to my mom, because she gave me the This Woman Can attitude. And it's where, you know, how I, my values, a lot of my values have stemmed from um, over over time. So that's it. Um, I will be back. I will be back. Not quite sure when, but I just want to let you know that I, you know, I am here. I'm just taking a little slight hiatus to deal with this situation, to deal with my mum, should I say, it's not a situation, to this this stage of life to really place focus on what matters to me right now. So as always, as I always say, remember if I can, you can, this woman can, take care until next time. <laughs>